Okay, here we are with another pump installation deficiencies review. So starting at the suction line, that's this one with the 45 in it there. Spa flex into it. That's a true sweep elbow. Look at that. Don't see too many of them. That's what a, a true sweep elbow looks like. Nice to see that. Should be more of those. Assuming it's schedule 80. It looks a little bit thin actually. Or sorry, schedule 40. It should be schedule 40 PVC. Sometimes you get fittings that are used from the um, in-house vacuum cleaner um, industry and they're a schedule 20 and they're well it works it's I sure wouldn't want schedule 20 on my my pool that's for sure but I do like the shape of the sweep elbow so anyway we've got uh, suction line here sweep elbow this is a Jandy pump uh, flow pro one horsepower so they come with a two inch uh, male or uh, not a male adapter but a two inch slip fitting here which has been bushed down um, to inch and a half so from there we go up uh, another sweep elbow into the, uh, the filter head out of that. We come down, got a barbed fitting there with only a single clamp. I'd prefer to see two on there. Down into here. Now these, any service tech will tell you, these unions here on this uh, this Hayward H series style heater, it's a very, th very thin thread, almost like a machine thread. And if you take those gray unions off, good luck getting them back on. The only way that I've ever seen to get those on is basically to just line it up and use a mallet to get it started, get it a couple threads on and then go from there. They're, they're really tough to deal with. Okay, so out of the heater, you got a union for access into a 90 degree Jandy check valve and that's because there is a salt water system here. Nice to uh, see that check valve in place. You don't see much of that. Um, again, we got a couple of really good sweep elbows there. Down into the Hayward cell. And then another sweep elbow back to the pool. This is actually really nice. I like to see that. Um, so again, that check valve there is really great. The only real deficiency that I see here uh, is that right there. This heater is not bonded. You can see, just look at how much galvanic corrosion is on that, that copper bonding lug. Not good. There's another one there. So both of those should be, uh, should be bonded, but other than that, this system looks a little bit better than average. Uh, could be better, but they can always be a little bit better.